Today I reported that Tesla appears to be turning back to radar for its vehicle next year. This means Tesla driver assistance features could readopt radar after going camera. Now, some people are not surprised, including me. Some people in our Torque News community say they are not surprised and I joined them. Why? Dane Herald has commented under my previous report today about Tesla going back to radar and wrote, I was not surprised. It was mentioned that Tesla was buying radar units about the same time as the new 5 megapixel cameras was sourced. This was prior to the removal of the ultrasonic sensors, Dan says. He also says it made sense for developers to squeeze all the performance reasonably possibly out of vision. At that point, determine if you need an additional sensor type. This is apparently true and they will use radar to pick up the things that vision struggles with. This is why Tesla may be going back to radar. For example, radar is superior at judging the distance to the car ahead of you. FSD users can better address this. Those of you who guys have been trying FSD. But many people said don't leave up radar. Radar is better for you know calculating the distance. Then also says it could be that Tesla knew that if it were to add radar back in the old radar units would not have enough resolution. So why ship a bunch of cars with it installed? Now you know Another person says, I really hope my September 2022 Model Y, note that this is 2022, can eventually do the full self-driving as that's the very reason we went for a Tesla. In the future, we want to go FSD. We already have autopilot, but as we get on in years, FSD will be a must for us. So you see, one of the reasons people buy Tesla uh, although competition is picking up, is because they want the full self-driving. I really very much don't care about full self-driving, but people do. So now what's not clear, however, is what the future hold f holds actually for the Tesla Vision, the camera-focused software that relied on machine learning gleaned from Tesla vehicles' data streams to continuously improve those cameras' object detection and spatial awareness capabilities. The documentation only shows the testing data and requests for confidentiality, but doesn't explicitly state that the FMCW radar is going to be a full replacement for those cameras or whether as before Tesla pulled radar from its vehicles, to, uh, the radar would augment those cameras. So are you surprised Tesla is going back to radar? And when I said documentation, I refer to the documentation that Tesla has filed and I will have the a link from a tweet in the description of this video okay guys god bless you if you like this uh, analysis please give us thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more tesla news and analysis god bless you and i'll see you soon in our next report later